as an African, as an Anglican. Mm -hmm. This is what I wear to identify myself, yeah. that I'm a clergyman. Do you know what Mugabe has done? He's taken people's identity and literally, if you don't mind, cut it to pieces. This is what he's actually done to a lot of, and in the end, there's nothing. So yeah. as far as I'm concerned, from now on, I'm not going to wear a dog collar until Mugabe is gone. My goodness. Archbishop, that is a, that is a dramatic uh, gesture and everybody will observe it. Thank you very much indeed for coming in to join Thank us you, this Andrew. morning. And keep my pieces, by the way. I'll keep Collect them the until the day we'll, when, when Ziva was free. We'll, we'll, we'll give you them back. I have got them for you. They've been sitting in my desk. They're in a slightly crumpled old envelope, but here they all are. And I said I'd give them back. Yeah, thank and you. And so I'd give them back. Thank you. There they go. I you can pull right there. Yeah. Oh, they're all in here. Yeah. They're, all, they're all there, yes. You know, Andrew, I could attempt to put this one back, or I could try and put them all together using super glue. It would be a pretty ropey collar. Ropey collar. And I actually think the lesson for Zimbabwe is the same. They just can't try and stitch it up. Something more radical, something new needs to happen in terms of the rule of law. So here is the million dollar question. Are you going to put a collar back on again now, Archbishop? Andrew, I promise that when Gabby goes, I'll put my collar on, so I have no choice but to put it back on. Did you promise that? Absolutely. And Mugabe has gone, but the new president has got to remember something more new than just simply stitching up a thing. It will work.